Hey everybody, Steve Human here. You don't know what that is. It's a trail cat. What a trail cat does is create a trail, and that's exactly what we are doing today. I'm outside of Beaver, Utah, out here in the beautiful mountains, and we are blazing trail. I'm going to tell you all about it. The Mineral Mountains west of Beaver, Utah run 28 miles north to south and form an impressive outcropping of different rock formations, some volcanic, others sandstone. This area has never been on any must-visit lists or had songs written about its beauty. But out here in the quiet wilds of Beaver County, there's a feeling of newness to every view, like you're the first person to stumble upon the landscape. In the case of off-roaders, that newness goes even further, as today members of the Forest Service, BLM, Utah State Parks, and local OHV clubs have come together to create new trail connectors and improve a route so little used that it has literally disappeared off the mountain. It's been on their maps for about 12 years, but it's not really been used a lot, and it's a real pretty canyon you come up, and most people keep thinking, they've gone too far and they turn around before they get to where it comes up over the pass right where we are now. It's going to connect uh, the city of Beaver to the Minersville Reservoir which is a trophy trout lake and camping area. It's approximately 25 miles long. It'll move on over to Minersville so you can make a loop that's about 50. It's 25 miles on this side of the highway and about 25 on the opposite side. The route, unofficially known as the Minersville Loop at the moment, is a rugged path through washes and up steep inclines. It's a 60-inch rated trail that will push your skill in quite a few places, perfect for riders looking for a new challenge. Once you're out of the canyon, you look down on unexpected views that remind you that the world is a big place and that even the hardiest explorer has seen very little of it. While part of the trail has been in existence for over a decade, large portions are brand new as of today, linking the Minersville Loop with other routes in the area. The hard work began long before this morning when the trail cat hit the mountain though. Getting a new OHV trail approved can take years, and even small sections can cause big headaches. We have a short section of trail that runs from the reservoir to a county road, which is less than a mile. There's eight entities that had to be approached to get approval for that one short section. Of all the OHVs that are going to hit this trail over the next few years, the coolest one will probably be the trail cat itself. While it's not going to break any speed records, nothing is going to stand in the way of this powerful earth mover. The trail cat's a very unique machine. It's different than any other. Some of these have been equipment operators and one of the comments they'll usually give is, you were right when you said it's nothing like driving a D9 cat. Yeah, it's something totally different. I'm used to driving an excavator or a grader, um, and so it's a lot touchier, a lot smaller when you have the big pieces of equipment. You have more time to react and everything. This one's a lot touchier. You move the thing and you hurry and spin when if you're moving a big excavator, you slowly move. So it's definitely a lot different. The Minersville Loop is just one aspect of this area that is worth exploring. Most people don't think of Beaver, Utah as a place to find adventure, but as today proves, there's more here than just a place to stop for gas. To me, it's quite a gem in that Beaver, uh, for such a small town, has eight trout fishing lakes as you go up into the mountains. It's got a ski resort, Eagle Point. It's got an indoor swimming pool. It's got rodeo grounds and events. They have one of the largest bike races, bicycle races in the nation at this time. And then there's always the Cash Cheese Factory, which is cheese curd country for anybody who likes that kind of stuff. Whether you're coming for the cheese or the adventure, the new trails in the Mineral Mountains are the perfect invitation to come out here and discover something unique and different. You may never have imagined taking the time to explore some of these areas before, but you'll be surprised by what you find. It's hard to know what you're missing unless you start looking for something new, and who knows, Beaver could end up being on your must-visit list. Take your time, stop. It's easy to drive by. It's exit 109 and exit 112, and it isn't that far between them, but it's a great place to be. 
And thanks to all the hard work over the last couple of days, you can now take off on your ATV from right here at Minersville Reservoir. You can fish and camp and then ride the rest of the day on the new trails that were just created today. It's awesome. Now getting out here to Minersville is really easy. You just head west out of Beaver on Center Street, which is SR21. It's about 15 miles, no big deal, and you're here. Well, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, our product review. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.